welcome to the lecture workshop practice laboratory the experiment number 4 experiment is prepare a half lab dowtail joint myself dr j lakshman assistant professor department of mechanical engineering the outcomes of uh, the lecture after completion of this lecture you will be able to prepare a half lab dowtail joint in carpentry so this is the 3d view of uh, the half lab dowtail joint this one is the most important equipment in the carpentry uh, that is the bench wise carpentry bench wise this is the movable jaw and this is the fixed jaw okay this handle will if you rotate this handle this movable jaw move linearly so this is the uh, one in which the work piece can be fixed so about the introduction of the carpentry carpentry is a very well known trade because uh, in uh, our houses constructions and uh, office uh, cabinets can be made by the carpenter right so the carpenter the carpentry workshop is a practical workshop for the first and second semester students so that they will get exposure and knowledge about the carpentry and various types of the wooden joints bench work and the carpentry plays an important role in the house constructions and office cabinet makings parts require hand operations to obtain the desired finish and fit there are many number of the tools which are uh, operated by the human beings those are used for getting the desired finish and fit of the carpentry joints now coming to the experimental details experiment number is 4 name of the job half lab dowtail joint object to prepare half lab dowtail joint using the take wood the materials required you can see the take wood is required the dimensions or length 300 mm width 50 mm and thickness is uh, 30 mm so number of the pieces required is 2 here you can see the diagram of a uh, half lab dowtail joint front view and the top view so this is the front view and this one is the top view all the dimensions are mentioned here on the front view as well as in the top view which are required to make the joint okay. this is the 3d diagram of the half lab dowtail joint okay so this is the dowtail uh, uh, projection and the dowtail groove so these two will be fixed tools and equipment required metal jack plane steel rule tri square marking knife farmer chisel wooden mallet tin ounce sawing board c clamp these are the various tools metal jack plane is used to uh, make the surface finish of the wooden jack and steel rule is used to measure the dimensions tri square is used to measure the perpendicularity and straightness marking knife is used to mark along the edge of the wood and farmer chisel is used to cut the along the edge of the wood and wooden mallet is used in combination with the chisel for making the holes all this uh, tenon saw is used to cut okay and uh, cut the wood and sawing board is used along with the uh, c clamp in combination of c clamp so wooden pieces will be fixed on the sawing board with the help of the c clamp then you can um, cut the wooden pieces what are the sequence of operations uh, let us see here first is the planing planing is the operation 
uh, for making the smooth surface on the surface of the wooden piece with the help of the metal chalk plane and marking with the help of the scale, tri square and the steel rule and cutting or sawing okay, for making the grooves you can use the chisel and for separating the pieces for cutting the into the two pieces you can use the saw joining after cutting two one groove dovetail projection and the dovetail groove then we can join these two pieces these are the sequence of operations so procedure plane the work piece using the metal jack plane to get the required size and dimensions clean up all the faces check the perpendicularity and flatness with the help of the tri square then mark as per the drawing saw out pieces to get required size so for this purpose we use the marking knife scale and saw and chisel out the grooves okay dovetail projection and the dovetail groove fit the pieces together as shown in the drawing so dress the surfaces if necessary after joining these two pieces if it is uh, necessary to make the surface finish we can use the metal chalk plane for smoothing the surface now uh, let us see how to perform Yes, students you can see here these are all the uh, tools required in the carpentry this is the fine wood rest pile this is the marking knife wooden pieces metal jack plane c clamp chisel saw okay mallet these are the wooden pieces that is the shape we have to cut this is the shape we have to cut okay and that is mortise and turn joint mortise and here you can see the dovetail joint so first of all we have to smooth the surface okay, plane the surfaces two surfaces then we check the perpendicularity and uh, thickness of the work piece so that is the setting for the blade you can see here that is the measurement of the straightness how to check the perpendicularity you can see all the three sides and then you have to check the thickness see what are the dimensions what is the thickness of that piece in the scale you mark the thickness
then extra material is this marking will be done for the thickness so that is the extra material that extra material to be removed by planing we can remove the extra material With the help of the metal chalk plane, we can remove the extra material. And you have to mark as per the dimensions group width also So with the help of the metal jack plane we have removed the extra material to get the correct size of the width and then mark the dovetail shape according to the dimensions. So on the surface, on both surfaces you have to mark Then you, t you see uh, for the dovetail how to do the marking. That length is to be reduced. To create the dovetail shape. So in that way the inclined line should be drawn so you can have the dovetail shape
up to the half of the thickness of the piece we will cut the depth of the groove as per the dimensions on the drawing with the marking knife we can mark along the edge of the work piece ribs are and tenons along the recess we can use the ripsa and along across the recess we can use the tenonsa you have to cut the groove So remove the material from the groove to produce the groove. With the help of chisel and the mallet. So for the have to remove the material in one side to make the dovetail shape of the projection that is the c clamp c ca c clamp is used to fix the work piece with the help of the rasp file 
of the chisel and wood rasp file we can make the finish of the surface in the groove that is the wood rasp file After finishing you have to mark to get the dovetail. Dovetail shape. Now, by using chisel, you can remove the material, extra material. Now that is to be cut into two pieces. These are being joined together. Just apply the little pressure, only small force to join two pieces. It is very tight, then you can file to remove small layer on the surface so that it will be fixed in the group. So there is a small projection so for removing that you can finish with the metal jack plane on the surface. You can see the final shape of the dovetail joint, half, half lap uh, dovetail joint. So my dear students, uh, that is the way to make the joint. Precautions that are to be taken during the cutting uh, during the making the uh, half dovetail joint where the operand while performing the operation marking should be done carefully check perpendicularity of the work pieces with the help of the tri square 
fix the work pieces in the vise to avoid the vibrations and noise and handle the tools carefully because very sharp edge tools are available in the carpentry now what are the applications it is used for small boxes to large pieces of furniture it is used for making frames and bracket supports for either inside or outside the use so it is used for strengthening framing and self brackets it is used for frame assembly in cabinet making and uh, temporary framing so that is the applications now the summary of this class we have discussed the tools uh, material required tools and equipment required and sequence of operations procedure to make the upflap dovetail joint and precautions and applications of the upflap dovetail joint having completed the discussion on the carpentry now students will be able to prepare half lap dovetail joint in carpentry tree thank you happy learning